Jason's Acoustic Workshop. Today is part five in the series where I show you the gear that I use when I do live shows or when I'm street playing. This is my, before we start, I want to show you my friend here, my friend Silas. He's part Chihuahua, part Pomeranian. He's my music buddy. He usually sits down and listens while I'm playing. So, but, uh, six years old, well behaved. Sometimes when there's dogs around, he doesn't. So, but we're going to go ahead and let him down for a little bit. We're going to get to the A2. It's from Zoom and it's an acoustic pedal. All right, so let's get to that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Zoom A2 acoustic effects pedal. This pedal is used specifically for acoustic guitars. Some people like to run through an amp that already has effects in it. Totally fine. It's up to you. But this is what I use. And I've had it for probably seven years and haven't had one problem at all. And I bought this at a... because I really wasn't sure. I know I've told people don't, don't buy used but I really wasn't sure because I've never used an acoustic pedal before. So I went to a pawn shop and I saw this one and it looked pretty beat up. I'm like, well, how much you want for it? They said $54 or something like that. And I said, okay, well, you know, it's kind of a small price to pay because usually these, these pedals can run you hundreds of dollars. So I figured, okay, I'll try it. If I don't like it, I can always just take it back to the pawn shop, whatever. So. I tried it, my first gig, loved it, loved it. The effects are amazing. Um, there's 39 presets, and you have um, A through D, which I think there's five or, or nine, let me see, six, seven, eight, nine. You have nine effect spaces for you to put your program stuff in. You have A through D, and each of them has nine, okay? So, what we're going to do basically is we're going to zoom in real fast, no pun intended. We're going to zoom in, and I'm going to show you the uh, knobs here, okay? I'm going to run you through the stuff that I use. Uh, if you wanted to use these, then you can just go buy one. You know, like I said, if you want to buy a cheap one, like I said, this is an A2, I'm sure they're they've got them uh, a lot better zoom has got a lot uh, more updated products but this one here I'm gonna play this thing until it dies and so far it is running like a champ alright so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom in and I am going to show you what it says on there and uh, then we'll start playing around with it alright All right, ladies and gentlemen, here it is, as you can see. You got it zoomed in. You have this knob here. I don't know if you, can, you guys can see that. Let me bring it over this way so you can see it a lot better. There we go. You have this knob here, and it basically it, it takes you to the effect that you want. Okay, you have the model, which the model means you can, you can emulate a, a, an amp. If you have a, a Marshall or some sort of acoustic amp, you can you can uh, use that to mo to uh, emulate that. Okay, um, you'll have to look at the instruction booklet. That way you can see what models of acoustic amps that it um, emulates. So that's for you. Now you have the uh, compression compression and limit mic. Basically, it. It tells you, um, well, you know what compression is. Everybody knows what compression is. If, if you're, but if you're um, into, if you're not familiar with compression, just Google it. Uh, basically, it's it's uh, kind of squeezes the sound, kind of makes it a little bit more thinner. Um, I, I personally don't use it, uh, but some people might have a guitar that's got too fat of a sound, too wide of a sound. They want to compress it, make it sound sharper you can use the compression. Now you also have your low EQ which is LE on here 
Okay, and then you have the high EQ. And a little bit here, that way people can see it. There we go. High EQ. And you have ZNR. Um, I'll have to look. You'll have to look on the instruction booklet. I'm sure you can find it online. I don't use it. Uh, so, I mean, maybe you, you will. It, it's up to you. Now, you have modulation and effects. Now, basically, modulation and effects is your phaser, tremolo, that kind of stuff. Um, I use a lot of, uh, not too much in certain songs. Like, I'll do uh, um, a song from Prince, and uh, Purple Rain is basically what it is. Um, and I'll use a little bit of, of uh, phaser in there just to kind of and kind of put a little delay in there for the strumming technique. You don't have to, but it kind of gives us, gives the uh, song a little more a little more heart. You know what I mean? Makes it more interesting. All right, now you have delay and reverb. And if you look here, HL is your reverb, hall reverb. Okay, you have different reverbs. Um, you have hall room all those then you get to the delay which is here all right you use the effects type plus and minus to get to it okay of course your control you'll have to look up, look that up and global I have no idea what it is it doesn't affect the sound any at least I've I haven't noticed, so you can, you can, I believe it stays on, or you can move it or whatever. Yeah, it just stays on. All right, I'm not exactly sure what it does. Now, if you want to go back to the, the set programs, you go back to play. All right, now basically what this one here is your feedback frequency for your modulation and your effects mix. It's basically the pattern and the depth time. So if you have a phaser that's going you turn it up and it, 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 it makes it faster or slower or deeper. Okay? Now your delay reverb mix basically if you hit a delay it'll delay by two or three times. If you turn it up it'll delay 5, 6, 10, 15, infinite, infinity. Okay, it'll just keep delaying and delaying and delaying. It depends on how high you do it. And this one here is your level. Basically, it's the level you want that particular uh, set to be. Okay, A, A0, I have it on 50. A1, I usually have them all on 50. That way it's the same level throughout. Or if, if you're doing a lead guitar, you can have it on 60 or 70. That way it kind of it cuts through a little more. All right, so we're going to go ahead and, and, and get the guitar, and we're going to show you some of the effects that are on it. All right, so let's get to that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Like I said, whenever I play through these things, when I'm the mixer or, or the effects pedal, I like reverb. Not a lot, but just kind of in the middle. Not too much, but... If it was a 1 through 10, I'll probably put it on like number 4 or 5, just to, just to give it a little bit. And then a little delay on some songs, depending on the rhythm. Or I use a phaser, like I said, on Purple Rain when I do that. And just it kind of gives, it gives the song a little flavor, you know. So, here we have A0, I'm sure you can see that. Uh, A0 is basically, for me, just the clean... No delay, no phaser, no tremolo, no nothing like that. But it has reverb. That's it. So, you turn this up a little bit here. I'm sure everybody can hear the... Uh... There you go, you got a little, little bit of reverb, not much to make you sound like you're in a can or something like that, but just enough to kind of to kind of give that that guitar sound some body. 
you know, not much. You don't want to do too much. Now, if you go to A1, and like I said, these here you can use for your, your, your feet, your foot pedals, all right? Here you have a little bit of delay, kind of a moderate delay. It doesn't go on a lot, it just kind of maybe two or three times. Yeah, about two or three times. Yeah. Now, I use that uh, for when I'm doing a kind of a moderate song, like when I do um, a little bit of John Mayer. Uh, goes up. That's what I use it for. It helps. It helps in the rhythm. It helps in the rhythm. All right. Let me bring it down a little bit. A2 is what I use for a little bit of a faster rhythm. Now, like I said, they're all, if you go down here, A2, go back to A1, I'll put on the stand here, um, you can see they're all at 50. I do that for a reason. That way, when I change, all the levels are the same. Now, this one here has a little bit of a faster delay. So what you want to do is when you're playing this, kind of go, you want to mute it and get the rhythm. There you go. See how the delay helps you. I use that one for when I'm doing faster songs. Now, A3 is kind of weird because it has a phaser. Alright, and some, some uh, longer delay. Now, I, use, I do this one whenever I do AWOL Nation uh, Sail. And this is the only one I use it for. So basically, it's uh, like that. And like I said, you use the delay, like if, if anybody's ever heard of U2, the Edge, the guitar player, he uses a lot of delay. And he uses it in combination with his rhythm. And it really, really brings that rhythm out. It's really good. Now A4, it's got a little bit of phaser in it and a little bit of delay. And that, now, I use this one for the Purple Rain song from Prince. So basically, never meant to call you any song. So, like I said, I work with delay, get a little bit of phaser in there, gives it a whole new feeling, and it's really great, because it kind of makes everything just kind of like go back and forth. You don't want too much, you just want a little light touch of it, just to kind of give it a little bit of uh, character, all right? Now, A5, 
little bit of a faster delay. And like I said, this is what I use. Delay, a little bit of phaser sometimes. I'm not really into the tremolo because I don't have any songs that I do for tre with tremolo in it. Um, but just delay. And most of the songs that I do, it's just regular, run-of-the-mill um, reverb. That's all it is. And like I said, if you want to get one of these, um, check, I guess, online. I'm sure they, they sell used stuff online. If you're not sure, if you don't want to spend all the money in getting a new one and you want to try it out first, that's what you need to do. That's what I would recommend you do. Um, as far as recommending this pedal, I recommend it highly. I've had it for seven years and I haven't had any problems with it. None. I haven't had to take it to the shop for anything. It's been dropped, it's been stomped on, and when I bought it used for like $54, no telling you how many other people had had it and stomped on it and dropped it. And it's got a, it's a metal case with rubber sides. Like I said, the, the wire still works, and it has in the back, let me put the guitar down here real fast for you. In the back here, bring it over here for you to see it has an opening there where you can put four AA batteries so you can play this if you if you want to play on the street and you, you don't you know you don't need a cord you can use the batteries and the batteries I usually do a one and a half to a two hour set on the street and I have no problem so you're looking at probably about a good four or five hours of, of power when you're doing that. Now it I'm sure it depends on the volume. If you have a really high, it may use up a little more power. But um, just to kind of show you what we're going to be doing in the next part, this here is a sharper image amp used basically for tailgating or people that want to do karaoke. It has a uh, two inputs, one for mic, one for guitar. And this is what I use for when I street play. Okay, I'll show you um, the parts of this, I'm going to show you the stand that I use, and uh, I built this neat little thing that this thing can go on, so you can actually have it, it's almost like a stand for this thing, like a speaker, regular, you know, your regular run-of-the-mill speaker that you would use if you're doing a live show. Um, that way you can raise it up in the air, and just not sit on the ground uh, serenading people's feet. <laughs> so, but this is a Zoom A2. Uh, acoustic effects pedal. Like I said, I recommend it highly. The, the, the people at Zoom, great product. I'm sure they've updated it, but I'm going to keep using this one until it dies. And so far, it's shown no signs of stopping. Now, please, um, uh, if you want to support this channel, please subscribe to the channel. It helps me a lot. So please subscribe. We're going to have more stuff coming. I have more lessons I'm going to be doing. Lesson 21, we're going to be doing some more chord noting. And we're also going to show you how to do um, palm muting. So it's, I basically started from the beginning, from the beginner up to intermediate, up to pro. All right? And like I said, when I street played with these, I was out for almost two hours I made almost eighty dollars in tips put your little tip jar out there or open up your guitar case people throw money in there if you sound good they're gonna throw money in there it's awesome it's an awesome way to pass the time and and people hear you they might wanna want you to play for a private party or, or, or gig at their bar or something like that you never know who's gonna be listening I've had people off the street say they want me to play at a private party which I've done I've done weddings I've done all these things People that own bars come by and they say, "Oh, I was in, uh, I was where you were at, and and I, I heard you. Man, you're great. Can we can I get a card? Make sure you got business cards, and everything. All right. So, for Jason's acoustic uh, workshop, I'm Jason. Like I said, please subscribe to the channel. Um, if you have any questions, uh, you can either comment the question. I'll I'll answer it for you as best I can, or you can go online. Just look up the uh, Zoom A2 acoustic effects pedal um, instruction manual, and I'm sure it's online. Um, or just go to Jason's Acoustic Workshop at gmail.com, it's all one word, and leave me a message there. And I will be happy, I'm more than happy to answer your questions because if, 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 you, if you're doing this for a living, great. If you're just starting, ask questions. You need to ask questions because if you don't, you're never going to learn if you don't ask questions. All right? So, 
We'll see you in part five. You take care of yourself.